Hey, hey, what's up everyone? So um, I want to do a quick video regarding the power output on Tonal. The reason why I wanted to do this is because before I had a Tonal, I did not obviously know what type of power output I had when I was doing a specific workout. I didn't know how much harder I could actually push. So lately I've become a big fan of Coach Greg. Um, if you're on YouTube and you're into fitness, you've probably heard of Coach Greg. He's taking YouTube by storm right now, and rightfully so. The guy has some amazing content. Um, he might not be for everybody. He's a little bit crazy. He comes off as a little crazy, but the guy's a genius. He knows what he's talking about. Um, pro bodybuilder. And if you can get past some of the... <laughs> so, I personally don't like the foul language, but it is what he did. Is he does a pretty good job at... You know, he doesn't drop the F-bomb often, but... Um, Anyway, I, I try to avoid the foul language stuff, but his content is so good that I need to kind of push that aside and listen to what he has to say because the guy really is a genius and he has so much to offer. So um, uh, I wanted to point, uh, to, to make the correlation between him and what we're doing today with his video is his recommendation at all times is to push harder, right? Many people think they're pushing hard, but they really don't push all that hard. And I wanted to show you guys how Tonal helps you to push harder. How Tonal shows you that you can push harder. You might be in the middle of a rep and you might be like aching. Like, oh my God, this hurts. But you can visually see on Tonal using the power output, whether or not you're actually hitting your peak power whether or not your power was less than before or whether it was more. And you can use that as a gauge in order to motivate you and gauge how you need to push in order to get the optimum level of training. Because if you're not pushing harder than last time, which is Greg's favorite line, push harder than last time, um, if you're not pushing harder than last time, you're not gonna grow in the same way. So in this video, very quick video, I'm just gonna show you the power output you want to hit at least 80% on this on this power output. You're going to see it in a moment right? when I uh, show you the example. We're going to be doing side lateral raise. And it's going to give you an idea of how this machine can help you to push harder than last time. All right, guys, I apologize. I know the angle is not the best, but in order for my setup to be able to show you what I want to show you, this is the best angle I could get you. So here we are. We're going to do a lateral raise. and. Take a look at the screen. You're going to see, give me one moment. We're going to go back to this set. This is the custom workout plan that I made for myself. Um, currently, Tonal has me on eight pounds. I'm probably going to increase that a little bit later, or I'll let the machine realize my strength. This is the first time I'm doing the lateral raises on the machine, which is why the weight is a little bit low, but it's going to increase as you go, or you can just manually increase it. So regardless, here we go. You're going to see on the top of the screen here, once I start, you're going to see on the top of the screen a dotted line. That dotted line represents 80% of power that you're putting. You want every rep to be at least 80%, which is why this feature is so valuable. The power output is so valuable because it can show you if you need to push a little more. All right, so let's just get into it. All right, so I'm going to start the weight. Here we go. All right, take a look at take a look at that power output bar that's going to be showing. You see that? Now watch this. Now I know how much power I need to put in to get even more because it physically shows you. If I didn't see, have this power output, I wouldn't know how much power I was putting out. I wouldn't know what I was capable of. I might think that this rep, for example, I, I might think that this rep is all I have to do to get, to get a good power output. You see how low that was? I might actually think that, but if I see that pop up on the screen, it gives me an idea, wait a minute, do I have anything else to give? Well, yeah, I do. Now, what makes power output so valuable? The more power you can put behind a rep, the stronger you're going to be, the quicker your muscles are going to grow. So you want to have at least 80% peak. 
Now, I'm going a little light on the machine for this video, but if I were to go normal, you're gonna see that bar shoot right up. You see that? Now, because it sees my power output at such a high level, it, it's gonna increase the weight later on because I can throw this weight up and really get good power behind it. And it gives you an idea of where you're at. Eventually, obviously, the more tired you get, the more it goes down. And once you get below 80% peak power, I think you know you're spent. At that point, you know you're spent, you don't have to do anymore, you're good. Um, depending on your goals, depending on what your program is. Me, personally, if I get below 80% peak, I'm taking a break, I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna start again. Because my goal is to build muscle. So I wanna give my muscles ample time to rest before I hit another set. And if I keep getting on this, and my, um, my um, peak is always below 80%, if I'm always below 80% on the power output, I'm probably done for the day. So it gives you a good gauge. It gives you a good gauge on uh, what you need to do in order to really get your get your strength and get your muscles engaged into the workout. You see, now I've done so much, I'm starting to go down. All right, you see how low it's going? I'm very weak right now. All right, I'm gonna stop it right there. And so you can see, if you come over here, it gives you this graph. Lateral raise, that's what we're doing, power output. Power is strength and speed combined. It requires your body to use everything it's got to build explosive force. To develop power, try to keep reps to 80% or greater of your peak power for a given set. For a given set. So you want to try to maintain that power throughout the set by utilizing your power output. This is going to allow you to push harder and know what you are capable of. It gives you a great idea of whether you're working out for nothing at that point, whether you need to push harder. It gives you that... that um, it gives you that extra little bit to improve your workout, and that little bit goes a long way. Trust me when I tell you. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. It is such a valuable tool to use that power output. Because of that power output, not only have I really been able to focus on how much harder I have to push, because of that power output, I know most of my gains that I've been seeing have been coming because it's, tell, it's showing me what am I capable of. And if I push a little more, then you see, okay, all right, you're getting a gauge on what you're doing. If you don't have something like this, do you need it? No, you don't need it. But it's going to help you to build muscle better, quicker, faster. It's going to help you to like it said, get that explosive force. I've found that because of this, I can push a rep out, I mean, like crazy, even under heavy weight, I can push a rep out really hard. When before, I might, I might have thought, yeah, I'm pushing hard, but this is giving me that gauge. So use it, it's a fantastic product. Um, not product, fantastic feature of this product. Um, this whole machine is designed to perfect your workouts. I can't say enough good about it. it. It's so funny. I can't say enough good about it. And because of that, so many people think I'm being endorsed by this company. Guys, if you look at my followers on YouTube, I think you have a great idea that I'm not getting endorsed by anybody. The only reason why I'm doing these videos is to show you other people who are passionate about their health, other people who love the gym, to show you guys how much you can benefit 
from this machine. Yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive, but if you watch my other videos, you start to see it's worth it. So many people on Instagram, I've seen, I've seen so many ads for Tonal on Instagram. And I gotta be honest, they don't do great with their ads. Their ads are not good. Um, and so you have a lot of people hating on Tonal. Hating, hating, hating. All right, their ads suck. They don't respond to customers when they ask questions. Um, <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you can't force a company to, to make good ads or to respond to their customers, you can't do it. But at the end of the day, the, the product is, it, it's the most incredible thing on the market. I mean, I remember I, I responded on a tonal ad um, and I shouldn't have did it. I shouldn't have did it. Normally I don't respond on you know, ads or anything on Instagram. I don't comment, because guess what? The world is just full of haters. Seriously, the world is full of haters. And so I don't want to get sucked into that. But I, I, all I did was write on an Instagram ad once. And it was a horrible ad, again, horrible ad. But I wrote on an ad, best purchase I ever made. And I put the hands up icon, right? The hands up emoji. Best purchase I ever made. Hater after hater after hater. You're a liar. You don't own this machine. If you if you had the money to buy this machine, you would have bought a full-blown gym, spending $3,000 on this and that. And all it is is anger and ignorance. They have no clue. People have no clue. You have, why would you ever spend $3,000 on a full gym that you have to put in your garage or in your house when you can take up this much space on the wall? Now, if you're a power lifter, which all these people who are bad-mouthing tonal, all these people, they, none of them were power lifters. I mean, from the look of their picture, they couldn't lift, lift 20 pounds. But the point is that if you're a power lifter, yeah, Tonal's not going to do too much good for you because it's not going to get you to 500, 600 pounds. But with this machine, like I've said in other videos, this machine is not just a 200-pound max like they say it is. You can manipulate the weight on this machine using chains mode, spotter mode, burnout mode, um, eccentric mode, you can manipulate the weight to the point where 20 pounds feels like 40. And even without any of those features, no, none of those features on, this machine's weight is not like regular dumbbells. And I've said this before, guys, it's not like regular dumbbells. If you lift a 20 pound dumbbell in your left hand, then you go ahead and lift 20 pounds on the tonal, you're gonna see a difference. The tonal is dead weight. Whereas the barbell, the, the dumbbell, is much lighter. It's not the same weight. It does not feel the same. Your muscle, if you just lifted 20 pounds on tonal and then you go to a gym and pick up a, a 20 pound dumbbell, that dumbbell is going to fly through the roof because it's going to feel so heavy. So the point is that this, this machine is full of features that are going to tailor you to make you the best that you can be. Yeah, it's not good for some people, but the hate doesn't, if somebody's hating on you, if somebody's hating on your product, like so many people are hating on Tonal, you know they're doing something right. You got person after person, bad mouthing, bad mouthing, bad mouthing. Could be because you don't have the money. Well, it doesn't mean you have to bad mouth. It could be the fact that you think it's a waste. Well, I don't know. Maybe I think your home gym is a waste. Because guess what? You might have a, even if you have a big house or a big garage where you have all your equipment, you know what you can do with that extra space when you put this in there? Get rid of your home gym. Turn that gym room into an office. Now you have a home gym on your wall. You don't need all that big clunky garbage anymore. I've had them. I've had those big gigantic weight machines and so much squat rack, bench press, so much stuff taking up a whole garage, taking up a whole room, a gigantic bow flex. I've had all that stuff. And guess what? This is much better. If I had a gigantic house, if I owned a farm and I had two houses on that farm, I'd still put this up because it meets my weight requirements and because it's saving you valuable space. Valuable.
It's invaluable. That's how good it is. If you decide to move, you're not looking to sell your weights. You're not looking to, um, you know, try to find a house that needs to be fit around your weight set. No, you, you just take the total with you. And as long as you have two, and as long as you have two studs in the wall, you have a home gym. So the hate's not going to stop. But at the end of the day, if they're hating, they're hating for a reason. What is that reason? So keep that in mind, guys. You're going to see a lot of hate on this machine. But I'll tell you what, I've lost 25 pounds. If you look at the beginning of my videos, you're going to see. I don't have to show you my scale. The results speak for themselves. My muscle is going up through the roof. I don't know how long I've owned this machine. I think I've done less than 30 workouts. My muscle's going through the roof. And my weight's dropping. Yes, I'm watching what I'm eating too. But the workouts I get on this are on par, in fact, better than at a gym. The people on Instagram don't know that because Tonal has really bad ads and they've never used one. Well, I'm grateful enough to have one. And I'll tell you what, I'd never go back. If they make one of these right now, that maxes out at 400 pounds, I'm going to sell this and buy the 400 pound one. I've never been more amped to exercise in my life. This machine has changed my existence and I can't be more happy. I don't get paid for this. I'm trying to show you guys so that you guys can help yourselves to make in informed decisions. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't listen to the haters out there. They're hating for a reason whether it's their bank account, whether they're jealous, whether they think it's a stupid idea, but they're just ignorant because they don't realize the potential and the benefits of this machine. When you use this the first time, there's a reason they give you a 30 day money back guarantee because they know probably about half a percent they're going to give it back. Maybe everyone else, if you're into working out and you want to gain muscle and improve your life, in a great way, everyone else is going to keep it. If you see that potential and you're really into exercise, you're going to keep it. So enjoy this machine. Enjoy it. It only gets better from here. So I hope you all have a great day. Take care.